Hey, kia ora, Helen Brown here coming to you live from Escondido and this here is Ziffy. Say hi, say hi, go hi. <laughs> Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling day. Did I say we're from Escondido, California? That's where we are today. We've had a fun day today, haven't we? We have been catching up on a lot of work. Yep, we did that. And somebody rang the bells today. So I have this string of bells that I'm training Ziffy how to um say hello. Nope, just one <laughs> that I'm training Ziffy on how to um ring when she needs to go outside. But she sits and looks at them like they're disgusting, don't want to know them, nothing like that. So she's just sort of like, you yeah, know, not happening, not happening. But she's trying but she's finding things around the around the RV to play with and chomp on and all that sort of thing. And the strap at the end of the bells was sticking out. <laughs> She pulled it to go and chew on it, and of course it rang the bell. So I was like, oh, good girl, Zephy, come on, let's go, and stuck her collar, stuck her leash on her, out the door, and she's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> she, the poor thing didn't even have a clue what to do. Um, hang on, let me just put her down, because she's getting wriggly here. Come here. You going to say hi to everyone? Whoops, where are you going? You going to say hi? You go, hello. Hello. No? Okay, come here. <laughs> come here. You can go and have your dinner. There you go. Um, so yeah, so she rang the bells and we had her, and I had her out the door really fast and the poor and the poor dog had no clue what happened. And of course I was so fast out the door I totally forgot to put shoes on, so I'm wandering around out there in my socks. And um yeah, we're munching. Um and uh we were out there for probably an hour as she's like sniffing every plant, every every flower, everything that's out and around the, um, around the RV on the site here. And <laughs> yeah, she has this fast, she was watching the, bumble, the the bees as they were on the flowers and stuff. And they've got these little, I, I'm not a botanist. I don't know my plants one from the other, but there's this, uh, this little spindly flowery thing that's got these little tiny um, blue flowers. And she was fascinated with this thing and then watching the bees come in and pollinate and all that sort of stuff. And she was just sort of like, Oh, what are you? And so I go and sniff them. I says, no, 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 you don't want to be sniffing those guys. They might turn around and, and um, so after we ca we spent like an hour just wandering around, around and around and around Sparkles just as she was taking it all in and, um, and that. And so we came back in and I was like, you know, I'd done a whole morning's worth. I'd made a great connection on polka dots. I had done a whole morning's worth of work. Um, lots of catch up today, lots and lots of catch up because we've had no internet for basically for a week. So there's been frantically sending out emails to people and getting stuff done and all that sort of thing. And when we came back from the walk, I said, I'm exhausted. So I went, in, went into the bedroom, laid down on the bed, and she pops up next to me. And we're playing. She's got this little stuffed alligator thing that I toss and should bring it back. Haven't had to teach her that one. She's worked it out herself. And <laughs> she brings it back and kind of goes over in the corner and starts chopping on it. And I just go, oh, like, walk the hand over there, sneak it off her and throw it, and off she goes again. <laughs> Good girl. Um, but yeah, and so I ended up falling asleep there. And I woke up and she's curled up right there next to me on the bed. We're both across the bed and she's curled up next to me and she was asleep as well. So I don't know actually how long we slept for, probably about an hour or so. But uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of nice. I mean, it's been very cool here today, which has been nice because I like that. Um, and then we went out for a walk later on and she went exploring and um, again, finding those little blue flowers, little bees that were buzzing around them and she's got some fascination with the bees and things and and then she'd hear birds singing she'd be like stop ears head turning ears focusing in on the sounds and all that so it's kind of fun re rediscovering the world through a puppy's eyes this time instead of watching it through the grandchild's eyes watching it through a puppy's um through how a puppy picks up the different sounds and things and like zeroes in on a sound and the body just goes all stiff and so like, oh there's a new sound where's that coming from and like they're like little radars. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, there it is. Um, so it's been it's been actually really a good day today. So we've had a first day of that she's had me working as much as I have been. And um, do not touch that. <laughs> she's learning to drop things too because she had something in her mouth earlier, like a little bit of paper. And I says, I went, no, drop. And she opened her mouth and dropped it. Get down. Look at this. This is what I have to put up with. What you doing? Zephy, what are you doing? <laughs> She's never 
done that before. So lots of first time things. Oh, and now we're whining. I think we need to go out again. So go ring your bells. Although I think she's terrified of the things, the sounds that they make. Um, but anyway, it's been, a, it's been an interesting day and doing a full day's worth of work with her and taking those breaks just to go outside with her and explore things and see things through her eyes has been kind of, kind of magical. Um, I'm really enjoying having her and uh, snuggling up with her and having a nap was kind of cool too. And uh, she's about to jump on the recliner and I've got my dinner plate sitting over there. <laughs> Zephy? Zephy? No. Oops. My dinner plate's getting cleaned. <laughs> I totally forgot to pick up my dinner dishes. That's all on me. Thankfully, the plates don't break. So if she drops it, it's not going to break. But um, yeah, that was that was tuna with cheese and what did I have in that one? Egg. Tuna, cheese, egg, chicken sausage. I think that was it. Just all mashed together. It was actually really good. Oh, I made this amazing dessert tonight. I can't wait. I'm waiting for it to set. But um, trying out different things with keto and that sort of thing. And, um, you know, being a chocoholic, I've got to have my chocolate. So I had, um, let's see, unsweetened, plain, full milk, whole milk um, Greek yogurt with um, heavy whipping cream, a can of organic pumpkin, um, pumpkin spices, Turmeric and ginger got put in there as well. Shredded coconut, unsweetened shredded coconut. Um, what else is in there? Sugar-free chocolate chips. Cocoa. What else did I put in there? Oh, and a few craisins. And um, mixed it all up, and it was tasting really good. And I thought, no, it has to it has to sit and marinate, because um, I find with pumpkin and pumpkin spice, you've got to let it sit and marinate for a little bit. So that's in the fridge for dessert tonight. Um, made a big bowl of it, so it's probably going to last me for like the next four nights, <laughs> five nights. <laughs> we'll see. But um, I'm enjoying experimenting with different. Um, oh, here's a definitely need a haircut. Um, experimenting with different flavors, and um, so it's good to get into the kitchen. Oh, and I also put in the um, the protein powder, the keto fuel, and the keto um, protein booster as well. So it's got the the extra protein in there too. So. Can't wait for that to be set, ready to eat, to try it out, to see how it goes. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. I was thinking of putting cream cheese in there too, but no, we're past that mixing stage now. So um, it's just been a really good day. So this weekend I have networking riches and couldn't go up to LA for it because of somebody who has separation anxiety, so she can't stay in a hotel room without screaming the place down. So um, I'm going to have to join it online. So it's kind of a bit bummed I can't be there in person but um, at least I get to join in online so I'm looking forward to that and seeing what nuggets I pick up this time especially now that I'm back with a networking organization because I totally missed getting into organizations where I can make connections with people and stuff like that too so um, met new people today I've got appointments set up for next week in fact I think I'm booked through to the middle of December with appointments with um, connections with people through polka dots so it's going to be um, an interesting month coming up and I accepted the yesterday accepted a role to be the mastermind um, coordinator for the diamond group so that's going to be for the diamond members so that's going to be a new challenge uh, something I'm really looking forward to as well so that's it for me I was planning on doing some James Bond updates today but it didn't happen work got in the way so maybe tomorrow during breaks on networking riches I'll pop in and do some Actually, we only get a 10-minute break. Yeah, I could do it. No, it's James Bond. He needs more than 10 minutes. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll do one at lunchtime because I know the break's a little longer then and one at the end of the day and then do a couple on Sunday. But then I'll also be behind because I'll have been to the Pierce Brosnan ones by then. Hmm. Maybe I'll do one tonight after this. I don't know. I didn't get to watch Goldeneye last night. Oh, have you heard? Oh, have you? I just I just finished watching the episode. Cause I wanted to didn't want to start a movie before coming on this, so I got on Netflix, and they have a new um, series out. It's called Dolly Parton's Dolly Parton's Heartland, and uh, no Heart Songs, Heart Songs. Sorry, Dolly Parton's Heart Songs, and she's taken eight of her um, well-known songs and done a um, 
told the story behind the songs. So this one, she was Jolene, and she did this story, and there was um, Julian Hoff was in there, um, um, Brad Paisley's wife, um, Kimberly, was on there as well, and, um, you know, Jolene being the other woman, and Julian Hoff played Jolene, and Dolly Parton was the owner of the bar that Jolene worked at, and um, just some of the struggles that she had, and sort of like how the song came out, and that sort of thing too. So it was it was very interesting. I thought, this is going to be fun. And the next one, and um, so there's eight episodes in all, and they're all favorite songs of Dolly Parton's with the stories behind, very well-known songs of hers with the stories behind them. So it's, um, and they've kind of acted out the stories and that sort of thing. So it's, um, it's interesting to um, get some sto you know, stories in the songs, stories and songs, that's all it is. And so it's kind of fun because I've always liked Dolly Parton's music and she's a fabulous songwriter as well. So um, to see her doing something like this to give you stories behind some of her songs is kind of cool. So if you ever get it, if you're on Netflix and you get a chance to watch Dolly Parton's Heart Songs, um, I just watched the first one, which was Jolene. Um, and the other one's something about Two Doors, I think. I think the next one's Two Doors. Two Closed Doors, Two Cracked Doors, something like that. I know it's got Two Doors in the title. But I'm going to save that one for another night because I'm going to go watch Golden Night right now. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening. I may pop back on in a few minutes and do a review on Octopussy since I'm starting to get behind on my James Bond reviews. I think I might. Anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we will catch you guys tomorrow. Heck on